Anaconda Pipe Camera, Quick Guide. Step 1. Connect the bracket and the monitor. With the supplied wrench, loosen the bolts on the frame. Correctly position the holding bracket to the frame and tighten the bolts. Secure the monitor to the holding bracket and tighten the bolt. While the holding bracket can be left on the frame, it's best to remove the monitor after inspections and store it in the case. Step 2. Insert the push cable into the meter counter. Loosen the securing bolt. Lift up the meter counter roller. Insert the push cable. Tighten the securing bolt. The push cable can be left in the meter counter between the sights, but it's best to remove it during prolonged transportation. Step 3. Plug in the connection cables. There are two connection cables, one camera cable and one counter cable. Insert the straight-in camera connection cable into the monitor camera jack. Connect the other end of the connection cable to the jack on the frame and tighten the nut. Take the other connection cable and insert it into the counter jack on the monitor. Insert the other end of the connection cable into the meter counter. Tip, always insert the push cable into the meter counter before assembling the connection cables. Step 4. Connect the camera head. How to connect a dual view camera head. Remove the push cable guard. The dual view camera skid consists of two parts that are screwed together, the smaller circular part acting as a locker to keep the skid in place. Before connecting, make sure the camera lens and the connection port is clean. Carefully screw the camera head to the push cable spring and tighten it firmly. Slip the camera skid on the dual view head and screw on the locking ring. After securing the camera head, press the power button for 3 seconds to turn the power on. Wait a couple of seconds for the monitor to boot up. The camera image will appear right away on the main screen. In order to switch between the straight and side view cameras, press the OK button. To control the illumination of the camera head, use the two lamp buttons on the monitor. To pan the camera head, use the side arrow buttons on the monitor. How to connect the pan and tilt camera head. The camera skid is made out of two parts, one of which is cut through the middle. First, put on the cut through part onto the cable. Take the camera head and check that the camera lens and connection port is clean. Carefully screw the camera head to the push cable spring and tighten it firmly. Slip the cut through part of the skid on the camera head and secure the skid with the other part. Always use the camera skids during inspections since they lengthen the camera head life and permit mechanical movement. After securing the camera skid, Press the power on for 3 seconds and wait for the camera to boot up. Press the OK button to find the home position of the camera head. The camera head will automatically find its home position in which the camera head looks straight. Press the side arrow buttons to pan the camera head. To tilt it, use the upward and downward buttons. Use the lamp buttons to control the illumination. Step 5. Conduct the inspection and control the camera. Release the reel brake and insert it into the pipe. Adjust the camera head illumination with the lamp buttons, pan and tilt the camera with the monitor controls. Step 6. To record, insert the USB stick and the microphone. Take the supplied USB memory stick and insert it into the USB monitor jack. The monitor will display the USB memory on the screen. To record audio on the video files, take the supplied microphone and insert it into the audio jack on the monitor. Use the microphone set to record the audio on the video files and listen to the playback. Step 7. Record videos and photos using the monitor controls. To start recording, press the camera button. Control the camera head to capture the needed inspection site. To pause the recording, press the camera button again and move the camera as needed. Resume recording by pressing the button again. 
To stop recording, press the red stop button. To capture photos, press the photo button. Move the camera head and capture photos as needed. Step 8. Insert the USB keyboard to mark up the captured footage. Open the keyboard battery slot, take out the Wi-Fi plug and insert the supply batteries. Open the holder for the keyboard and put it inside. Take the Wi-Fi plug and insert it into the keyboard jack on the monitor. Use the keyboard to mark up the screen. The text will appear on the captured footage. Step 9. Reset the meter counter or change the units if needed. When the reel is spooled out or in, the monitor will show the spooled cable length on the display. To reset the counter amount to zero, press the reset button on the counter. To change the counter units from meters to feet or vice versa, press the MF button on the counter. Step 10. Use the remote controller. Insert the supplied batteries into the remote controller. Use the remote controller to start a recording. Conduct the inspection and control the camera head as needed by using the arrow buttons on the monitor. Press the recording button to pause the recording, press stop to stop the recording. Press the snapshot button to capture photos. Step 11. How to playback captured videos. Press the menu button and enter the video folder. The catalog will display different video folders with videos taken recently. Select the desired video and press OK to play it. Press OK to pause the video. Use the side arrows and the OK button to either fast forward or rewind backward the video. To exit the video, press the back button. To delete a video or folder, press the trash button and use the side arrow and OK button to confirm. Press the back button to exit the video folder and the menu. Step 12 How to Playback Captured Photos Press the menu button and use the side arrow and OK button to select the photo catalog. Select an image and press OK for playback. To exit press the back button. Repeat the same process to playback other photos. To delete photos press the trash button and use the side arrow and OK button to confirm. Repeat the same process with other images if needed. Press back to exit the photo catalog. Step 13. Changing the video settings. Press the menu button and use the buttons to enter the video settings. Once in the video settings, use the up and down arrows and the OK button to confirm the setting. To cancel the setting press the back button. Exit the video settings by pressing the back button. Step 14. Changing the photo settings. Press the menu button and select the image settings. The primary image settings will show up on the screen. Use the arrows and the OK button to change the settings. To cancel setting press back. Press back to exit the image settings. Step 15. Changing the system settings. Press the menu button and use the arrow and OK button to select the system settings. To change the language, enter the setting by pressing the OK button. Select the desired language and confirm it by pressing the OK button. To cancel the setting, press the back button. To change the time, enter the setting. Use the up and down arrows to change the setting, side arrows to toggle between the settings, and OK to confirm. Press Save to confirm and close. Press back to exit the system settings. Step 16. Charging the unit. To charge the unit, insert the charger into the monitor jack and plug the other end into the outlet. Maximum charging time, 7 hours. Step 17. Cleaning and storing the unit. To lengthen the cable's life, clean the push cable with a moist rag before spooling it back into the reel. Wipe the camera head as well before putting it back into the case. Storage. Store the unit and the components in a dry place above 5 degrees. Anaconda Pipe Camera. Quick Guide.